द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज पैरल लैडर विथ एन अकोमिलेटर फर्स्ट सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन वॉट इज हैडर ओके सो लुक एट दिस सो हैडर इज हैडर वी कम अक्रॉस हैडर एंड सब्ट्रैक्टर ओके फर्स्ट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन हैडर सो दीज टू थिंग्स विल बी स्टडीड इन इन योर प्रैक्टिकल्स आई मीन इन लैब्स ओके सो लुक एट दिस जीरो प्लस जीरो इज जीरो जीरो प्लस जीरो इज जीरो सो द सम इज जीरो द कैरी विल बी जीरो जीरो प्लस जीरो इज जीरो जीरो प्लस वन इज वन द सम इज वन कैरी इज जीरो जीरो प्लस वन इज वन वन प्लस जीरो इज स्टिल वन सो द सम इज वन कैरी इज जीरो जीरो प्लस वन इज वन वन प्लस वन इज टू सो इन द बाइनरी नंबर जीरो एंड वन पॉजिबल वेन एवर इट कम्स टू राइट इट अगेन जीरो जीरो एंड वन वेन एवर इट कम्स टू राइट इट जीरो इट सम वेन एवर इट कम्स थ्री ओके राइट इट सम एज वन कैरी एज वन गरिंग सो सो इफ इट इज टू राइट इट जीरो थ्री इफ इट इज टू सम एंड कैरी राइट इफ इट इज टू सम इज जीरो कैरी इज वन If it is three, sum is one, carry is one. Getting so two zero plus one is uh, one. One plus one is two. Two means sum is zero, carry is one. So let me tell you some zero one two three. Okay. Uh, after doing the addition, if it is zero plus zero is zero, write it zero itself. Zero plus one is one. Write it one itself. Okay. If it is one plus one is two. When it comes two, write it zero, and carry is one. If it is three, write it. Sum is one. Carry is one. Getting. So now one plus zero is zero. Zero. Uh, one plus zero is one. One plus zero is one. So sum is one. Carry is zero. So two one plus zero is zero one plus zero one and one plus one is two so two means zero carries one again two one plus one is two two plus zero is still two two means sum is zero carries one here it is three so both it will be one and one this is uh, the performance of an adder okay. so this is what they are given uh, parallel adder with an accumulator this particular question has been uh, i think it is been revised in the previous year question paper okay here you are supposed to perform the adder so they have given parallel adder why it is parallel we have parallel 1 2 3 4 all these four things will be performing its its operation at the same time parallelly so it is called as parallel adder full adder so you come across full adder of adder full subtractor of subtractor something like that that you are going to learn in the lab sessions okay right now just uh, concentrate what is adder okay uh, as we performing adding or addition of addition parallelly so it is called parallel adder what is an accumulator accumulator is something accumulating the things what is accumulating here we have a flip flops so flip flops are used to store the data so we are accumulating the data within the flip flops so that is what called parallel adder with accumulator i am accumulating the whatever the results which will be produced in this adder that result will be accumulated that result will be stored in this flip flops so that is what we call as parallel adder with accumulator okay uh, clear so uh, the same diagram uh, uh, in order to avoid the confusion so i have taken just uh, this part of the diagram here so let me explain this first uh, later you can concentrate this okay uh this is a flip flop okay this is a data input d single input s refers to sum x okay this is an adder c refers to carry right now the carry is zero so y1 is a data input i am passing y1 into the this adder so i am passing x1 into this adder x1 i have got it from this flip flop so let me assume some data either it might be zero or one is present in this flip flop this will be passed through x1 so that will be passed as an input to this adder x1 so another input is from y1 so x1 plus y1 is going to produce s1 that is sum s1 is equal to x1 plus y1 this is a full adder sum what is sum x1 and y1 and uh, if it is 2 s will be 0 carry will be that is c2 
carry will be 1 the same thing what is this s1 refers to some c1 refers to carry c1 c2 that c1 c2 like this okay getting so the full adder is accepting the inputs from x1 and y1 x1 and y1 this is going to perform the addition and the sum will be passed back to this flip flop okay and the if it is 2 the sum will be 0 carry will be 1 if it is 3 the sum will be 1 and carry will be 1 something like that. what i just explained here the same thing so this is how this operation is going to perform the same operation uh, they have given the four flip flops here four it's not four n bit n bit means so we have n uh, look at here so this is one adder second adder c1 c2 c3 this is cn so you look at here uh, this is y1 y2 this is yn so just an n bit n bit parallel adder with an accumulator the whatever the diagram which i explained here the same diagrams they have given here so all these flip flops are connected by a clock this flip flop will be uh, performing its operation once the clock pulse is produced if the clear is produced all the flip flops will be set to zeros okay you know what is clock does what clear does and what is is ad what is this ad ad refers to add signal whenever if you want to perform the addition this ad should be one ad here ad refer ad is connected to ce what is ce clock enabled if you want to perform the addition this clock enabled should be enabled right ad is one means this performance uh, this will be get enabled and operation will be performed if ad is zero add signal is zero so this clock enabled will be zero uh, i mean deactivated so none of the operations will be performed so somewhere uh, the gate we call it as a gate somewhere we call it as an enable somewhere we call it as a clock and clock enabled somewhere we call it as a load here we call it as an here we call it as an ad add signal the same thing if the add signal is one one the all operations will be uh, activated if ad is zero all operations will be deactivated this is how it is going to perform now this is a parallel adder with an accumulator so they have given one more diagram here this is an adder cell adder cell with multiplexer you remember multiplexer right so this is a two is to one multiplexer because a one output two inputs one zero are the inputs this is a FA refers to full adder so we have some uh, one input is x here other input is y this is a, a carry okay so this is an add signal this is a load if both uh, add when I, I what i told and uh, whenever the add signal is one the operation will gets active whenever the add signal is zero the operation will get deactivated so whenever uh, operation is one refers to this this should be one okay uh, this should be one if if the output of this or gate should get one means this load should be either zero or one if both are one one means the output is one if if add is one and load is zero means still this will be one if this one is means clock enabled will be get enabled and this operation is going to get performed okay this is how it is going to perform its operation uh, okay when the load is zero okay when the load is zero so this s sum will be passed into the flip flop so after performing x1 plus y1 what is the sum it is going to get produced that sum will be passed into this flip flop if load is 1 so this uh, this flip flop will get the input from directly from y directly from this y it is not going to perform the addition okay when the load is 1 this is not going to get this is not going to perform the addition directly the y input will be passed into the flip flop okay if the load is 0 so then x1 plus y1 will be performed and the sum what we get that will be passed on to this flip flop look at here when the load is 1 the multiplexer selects yi when the load is 1 the multiplexer selects yi is loaded into the accumulator flip flop this flip flop xi on the rising clock edge why rising clock edge because this is positive triggered when the add is 1 and load is 0 when the add is 1 and load is 0 okay the adder output what is the adder output si si is the adder output is loaded into xi that's it listen add cell add a cell with a multiplexer okay so then we are going to deal with the shift registers now so as i told we have four types of shift registers parallel in parallel out serial in serial out 
parallel line serial out and serial line parallel four four uh, types of shift registers but in this textbook they have given only two types of shift registers so you concentrate more on these two types of shift, shift registers if you want to study the remaining two types of shift registers then you are supposed to refer uh, the other textbook digital principles and applications which uh, the soft copy was sent to your whatsapp group the textbook in that textbook you can refer all the four uh, shift registers no need to refer all the four shift registers over there refer two shift registers in this textbook the remaining two which is not given in this textbook should be referred there okay uh, i think that is not in your syllabus if you for your reference if you want you can refer it okay you can just go through this shift register that is enough okay